Today we're going to speed run ruining a hospital. They're clearly very busy, so let's get started. First up, we need to determine what's wrong with Charlie Brown. The years have not been kind to him. His nose has fallen off entirely, and he's morphed into half a bumblebee. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> he looks like your mom in this one. So we'll go ahead and jam this one straight in the mouth. <laughs> and then give it a little swirl. I'm not entirely sure what the point of that was. Now we do a little bit of this. He's very sick. Look at him. Apparently we failed that level, but I stand <laughs> by my diagnosis. This creature is very sick. We have to try it again, but they gave me a different person. This isn't the same guy. His shirt's different. All right, we're going to ram this one in with a little momentum. Is it normal for the patients to make eye contact while you're doing this? I'm not complaining. I just think it's weird. Oh, the color of this soup. He's got a smile on his face. He's very healthy. To show you how healthy he is, he's even doing a dance and we have an emoji. And for $200, we can buy a person just like in real life. We can put them on diagnosing apparently, so they'll probably do a better job than me. That's only going to take them five seconds. Oh, we can merge them. We can make a better person and upgrade our hospital. Ambulance. This will be good. Ambulance, we can tap to speed. We're an ambulance, so we need to get there as quick as possible. Doesn't matter how many lives we cost along the way. Okay, apparently it does matter how many lives we cost along the way. Getting good at this, though. We just got it. What am I supposed to do there? Uh... That was an unsuccessful ambulance mission. So the first task in this game was to stick a thing into a guy's mouth and swirl it. Level 2 is something impossibly hard. So we're going to go ahead and leave that task up to better people. You and me, we're going to stick to what we're good at. Ramming things in people's mouths. I think I see a little red coming in. Unfortunately for this guy, he is quite ill. But I think it's time we upgrade our hospital once again. I'm not sure what's happening with my money. Operation? Yes, please. I would like to perform an operation, so if someone could come in needing one of those, I would be grateful. Alright, here we go. It's operation time. Just a quick assessment of the scene and I'm already super excited to see what's about to happen. Okay, we need to grab his eyelids and force them open because that's clearly what we do. We put some eye drops wherever we can. We'll just, uh, yeah, go ahead and put them in there. And then we're going to grab some enormous pinchers and, uh, massage his eyeball very gently. Oh, he's got stuff stuck in his eye. We're trying to pull them out. Okay, we're actually helping that guy. Look how happy he is. We're going to spend some money to upgrade our things like diagnoses to hopefully have a harder diagnosis coming up. Nope, it's still the same old guy. This one just looks a little more annoyed. Sir, there's something wrong with you. Go fix it on your own terms. Ooh, we have a different eye exam thing. So we're going to take a look and we're going <laughs> to laser the direct cornea of your eye. What's in this one? How about your mouth? Your mouth disappears entirely. I don't mean to alarm anyone, but I think we're fixing a vampire. Only his eye can be magnified. I think we need to buy a few more people to put on these jobs. We're going to have two level twos. All right, let's see what the patient has in his eye this time. Looks like shards of glass. You'd think with eyes this big, he'd be able to avoid falling into things like that. We're going to open up the delivery wing of our hospital now for $3,800. I probably need to remember to actually staff my hospital with the people I've bought. Uh, otherwise, we're just kind of wasting time. Oh, we have to steer a thing down a hallway. This is not going to go well. I don't know who designed a hospital like this. It was probably me, to be honest. Are we supposed to avoid the people or run them over? Are we supposed to... Uh, okay, that was delivery. We delivered what appears to be a man to a delivery room. I mean, it is my hospital, so it kind of makes sense. We're going to buy a few more people to hopefully cover some of these tasks that I don't want to do. So you're going to diagnose, you're going to do an operation. The ambulance is already a lost cause. It takes too long. How long does it take you? 35 seconds seconds to do an operation should fire that guy immediately for some reason parking at the hospital is our problem as well so i made a level three guy so hopefully he can do something quicker yeah he counts down 35 seconds but it's a very fake 35 seconds so we're gonna get a few of those and then they can do jobs on my behalf also the delicate art of parking an ambulance involves which spot you would like to park in so i guess this one that's pretty easy so far so good we do a nice donut when we arrive just to uh, make sure the person inside is thoroughly jiggled. And while I was watching them do donuts, the ambulances started crashing into each other because they're on autopilot. They literally just keep piling up into each other. So I guess we just have to manually tell them where to go. So you go here. <laughs> He's literally following my line. So now we got to guide this one around. So it doesn't run into the first one. Then you're going to go back this. Okay, we're playing snake now. Okay, you go that way. Uh, You go that way. And then, um, uh-huh, you go that way, you go over here for a sec, you go over here, you go over there. I don't know what's happening, okay, you go there, okay, you go this way, nope, 
That way? No wonder I never became an ambulance driver in real life. This is easy though, you just gotta get them to deliver the person or whatever. As long as you don't have them crash into each other, that's all it takes to be an ambulance driver. That gave me all the funding we need for an x-ray. I should be really good at this one. And then we're gonna buy at least one more person. We need to put some people on these old jobs to make sure the money's rolling in. Like any good hospital, it's all about the profit. I don't know why we don't have to pay our receptionist. We're gonna find out what is inside of one of these creatures. To start, we're slowly gonna go up and reveal he has a fork in his thigh, a coffee mug in his lower intestine, and a second coffee mug directly where his heart should be so he's not unlike myself. So is that all we do? We just x-ray him and tell him, yeah, you got a bunch of inanimate objects stuck inside you, good luck. Oh, we're supposed to just remove them from his body. You don't need anesthetic. We'll just go ahead and yard those things out. I've got pliers. But this is the reason I do this, why I work in a hospital. The look on our patients' faces once we're done mutilating them. I wonder if at some point we could see the casualty rate for a hospital to see how many people didn't make it. You know what? We're also going to upgrade our operation. No, I wanted to upgrade it. Okay, never mind. We need to remove this stuff. This guy's got multiple things in his eye. How many accidents do you get in before you visit a hospital? Uh, sir, unfortunately, you're inoperable because you have glass and rocks in your eye. I don't really know what to do about it. I can spin your eye, though. That's fun. I just want to put a disclaimer out there into the world. Don't ever let me have control of your eyes under any circumstance. Because it's been 13 days of me working at a hospital and I've only done a lot more harm than I've done good. I've broken this guy's eye so now it's just stuck. I'm sure he'll be fine on the operating table for a while. What we're going to do is upgrade the operating table because clearly that thing's busted. And now that's where we can make all our money by putting all our best doctors on that and the rest of our doctors can just pretty much go wherever they want. I don't care what happens to the rest of the people. We got more level 3 doctors coming in so we're just going to put those all over everything we can. Those guys were quick. That green bar closes down fast. I bet if I... Take things long enough, I can make like a million dollars per misdiagnosis in this hospital. We could have the most profitable, worst hospital in existence. Okay, this guy's got the same stuff as the last guy. So whatever these guys are doing, they probably want to stop. Because this probably isn't great for their long-term health. I'm not talking about having coffee cups inside of yourself. I'm talking about visiting my hospital. So we're currently making $5,600 per x-ray. So we just need a lot more of those. And also to buy more high quality valuable doctors to smash in there. I've even made a level 4 just to get that going nice and quick. He's always going to go on the highest value task. And these doctors will be paying for themselves before long. I'm using the term doctor here quite loosely because these are just people I found on the street. I'm going to have more level 4 doctors because the quicker we get things done, the quicker we get a turnover. I've already made another $30,000 by basically misdiagnosing everything. I also need to spend a bit of money upgrading some of these old tasks because they're not worth nearly enough. So now in order to treat this bumblebee, I'm going to make 10 grand and all I'll have to do is stick that in, give it a swirl, stick it in a beaker and tell him if he's going to die today or not. All while trying to figure out how dizzy I can make him all at the same time. But you know what? clean bill of health for you. It's costing $90,000 to upgrade the x-ray even once. But that's what we call an investment. I just keep buying people, I put them to work, they make us money. And if they're level 4, they get the job done instantly. Since I have $31,000, let's upgrade some of these smaller ones that are definitely going to start to pay out. Soon, every trivial job will be worth millions of dollars. We're starting to get lots of level 4 idiots as well. They're absolutely chewing through these things. Why do people have to get so expensive to buy? Why can't they remain cheap forever? But I made about $60,000 in 10 seconds, so that should be enough to buy a few more people and buy a few more upgrades. We can hardly keep up with it now. We're a very efficient hospital somehow. So at this point, I have 4 level 4 doctors and 1 level 3. So we're really making the money quickly. I need to start upgrading things like the x-ray so they can make more money each time they're done. Look at how much parking jobs we have here at the hospital. We're a parking attendant more so than we are a surgeon. Let's upgrade our parking because it's long overdue for some upgrades. Plus now we're making a lot whoops, more money every time we finish it. Well now we also have a level 5 guy. He's even quicker than a level 4. Apparently we've zoomed our way through 6,000 days already. I wanted to see if we did an operation if they would stay working in the background. So lucky for this guy, he's got the best doctor on the job. First we just need to find where the damage is. I would say it's right here where the three shards of glass are embedded in his eye. So we'll very gingerly pull those out and put them into whatever that is, uh, conveniently balanced directly above his mouth. And in the background, it seems they were not working any quicker than normal. I'm just going to upgrade basically whatever I can afford now in the background, because we need to get as much money per job out of this as we can. And I'm accidentally putting people together, so I'm uh, accidentally doing genetics as well. We're combining people to make better people. I'm pretty sure that's how that works in real life though. If you start combining doctors, they're going to spit out more doctors. This entire hospital is officially run by five people. I don't know what happened to some of these icons, but we're starting to break the game. I don't think you're actually supposed to take it this seriously. It's either that or the purple level 5 is so powerful that he has to encompass more room. 
And for the first time, we made over $200,000, which we need to spend on more people, which we could buy five. At this point, I can just get lost in the bald man's beautiful eyes and suddenly I have $220,000 again. I've pushed the game so far, we've broken the number 10. It has to stack the numbers vertically instead. Now we're going to go on a little adventure. We're going to find out what comes after level 5. Two level 5s make a level 6. It's a big red one. And it definitely seems quick. He's already done that one. We'll put him back on operations. He's going to do a 15 second operation. We're going to have a lot of lucky victims at the hospital today. And because there's something wrong with me, I thought it would be fun to hit a million dollars, which we did. So let's see how many people we can buy for a million dollars. It turns out it's a lot, so we'll combine them all into some kind of super doctor, the likes of which have never been seen. Uh, the slider kind of just breaks at this point. I can't really combine anything anymore. Uh, there we go. It's a little uh, unwieldy. I don't think they expect you to do these things. Don't worry, everyone. I know we all have a medical emergency, but we're making a super doctor to handle that. It's crazy because for everything I bought, you think it would combine into something even bigger than all of this. Okay, we gotta get a little more money coming in again. All of that will at least combine into a single level 7 doctor. He gets a color orange and he's worth millions of dollars. Is he worth the money? He actually might be. Look at that uh, green bar go. So for millions of dollars, he can make about $5,000 a second in return. I really just want more of this sort of stuff though. I have more fun putting things in or taking things out of the patients. But even for a million dollars, we don't get any new content. So I'll just leave you guys here to enjoy this view while you guys stare into each other's eyes for the rest of eternity.